time for science! We got this fantastic question from at Teratola on Twitter. Dear Veronica, why do beers explode when left in the freezer, but not bottles of whiskey? First of all, why are you keeping whiskey in the freezer? You keep vodka in the freezer if you really have to, but whiskey doesn't need to be cold. Ugh. As for the science, I'm saving that part for Dr. Kiki of This Week in Science. Take it away. Thanks, Veronica. All right, yay, freezer science. Let's get to it. The key factors influencing this answer are alcohol content and carbonation. First off, beer has a lower alcohol content than whiskey, which means that it has more water in it. Second, it's carbonated. How carbonated depends on if it's been injected with CO2 like a commercial beer or if it's a home brew that where the fizz just comes from fermentation alone. Alcohol reduces the freezing point of solutions, so the whiskey's freezing point is lower than beers because it contains more alcohol. Freezing, in addition to forming ice, also pushes the carbon dioxide gas that's in the beer out of the solution, and the gas becomes pressurized in that little tiny space that's remaining in the bottle. That massively adds to the pressure buildup inside the container, enough so that a bottle of beer can actually burst in the freezer, resulting in a fizzy freezer mess that we all want to avoid. Vodka goes in the freezer, not your beer or your whiskey, and if you want to know why you should drink whiskey at room temperature, you just, just let me know because I can answer that one next time. With science! Thanks, Dr. Kiki. This explains why I have so many white wine popsicles in my freezer. And glass shards. Huh. 